Last month. Are you gonna be part of the Principi? Are you gonna be with the, like the Huani or the trading companies? Huani? Being a part of the Principi. Even though they didn't really do much. <laughs> I just done their quests. Uh, they just remind me of like you know, like the Jack Sparrow movies. Yeah, that's what. Part. Yeah, it just this game. This game really just reminds me of the movie. I was like, oh, there's this pirate uh, lords group, and then here's Nikitaka, that's like the major city, <laughs> and then there's a ghost ship. Oh wait, it's like the Black Pearl. <laughs> I think it was, yeah. Something like that. It's close to it. Yes. Be a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I already did. Except the other half of the map, but I don't know. Uh, crap, I can't. Yeah, I'm at Dunnage. I thought I could get on the world map, but it just gives me the map of the city. But, I'm gonna kill pretty much, at least on the west side. Hey, uh, guy, I'm gonna kill you. Did you meet with Aldis at Deadlight? And, more importantly, yeah, is she still I'm gonna breathing? Kill him. You know what I'm hoping for. He's a bastard. That's it. To me? And you came to tell me, to my face, that you will now be backing my political foes. I cannot decide if that makes you brave or unbelievably foolish, my disloyal Casita. I'm gonna kill you, bastard. We got you. Oh wait, I think I'm gonna kill everyone here. Well then, if that's how it's gonna be, that's how it's gonna be. Oh well, but speak freely. We're Let's dead. Go. Oh wait, I want to do that again. <laughs> Did you meet you not to me and you? Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is going worse. Uh, how about uh, you kill him? Well, that's not what I wanted. 
I'm trying. I got that unique uh, weapon. Um, I have to kill people with empowered attacks. Oh, that shit sucked. <laughs> so I could uh, enhance it more. Yeah. Uh, it's just for this unique weapon. It requires it. No. <laughs> Did you meet with Al? You know what I am killing him. You no, because I forgot I uh, had this. Uh... I think he just disappeared. <laughs> Oh no, she's down! damage taken? Why? Bodyguard. Aura grants nearby allies damage reduction. So the word takes increased damage. Oh. No. Yeah, cause she doesn't die. <laughs> what can I do? Yeah, she would probably. I am ready. Alright. Uh Medium armor. I wonder what. Okay, handsome. Okay, defense. Uh, fifty percent of damage taken redirected to caster as raw damage. Oh, it's gonna be like that. Or the allies. Oh yeah. Aura increases healing done to nearby allies. Um, aura grants nearby damage done to guard takes increased damage. <gasps> it's usually like the first two that you have to pick. And well, two at the same time. Like every two. You can't pick all of them. You can enchant it twice, it's just I think between these two, like each two, you have to pick between them. So far from what I've seen. Second one is 50% of damage taken redirected to caster for 10 seconds. Is it 
the supply. Oh, this one's here. Oh, wow. Damn. I could make it lunch here, but I think I've only had them once. Twice. Oh. Uh, sometimes it, I guess it requires different materials, depending on what it is. It's 30,000. You your ship. And uh, hiring mercenary? No. This is legendary. It's like plus one armor rating against I melee attacks. Know. It's right there. Yeah. This is superb. They're both gold. <laughs> I say twenty percent chance to stun attacker for two seconds when hit when melee. <laughs> I had that mask since the beginning. Oh, yay. Yeah. What is this? Drain energy of life from target, reducing their power levels. This reduces strength from all spells and abilities. Increase gains on aura away. Bonus defense. Enemy who strikes one, maybe blinded. Aggress knights. What's this do? It's a target of flames. Each pillar deals burn, crush damage, and reduces the duration of hostile and beneficial effects on the target. Revenge of Scott. Creates a sphere of divine darkness that causes divine affliction to anyone who is inside or moves to the pain. That sucks. I guess this one. Oh, two abilities. Uh, what is this? Because uh, she's single. I don't Happy to oblige. Power. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the power level. Um, let's see. Empower yourself to refill half of your expended process resources and empower or empower a spell or ability to grant a large power level boost. Oh, I guess the spells. What can I do? Uh, you for sure thing. So. Yeah, I know. I'm doing that. No, I got has it. No, 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 no. Absolutely. I'm her killer. Thank you. <laughs> everyone is killing everyone. You're not letting yes. her increase her weapon. in the like the winter of March I found the unique weapons and it requires like specific instructions to increase the power no <laughs> I can't sever by and the uh, unique weapons binds to a character no I worked so hard for this not really but I worked hard on this Can yeah, I do? certainly. But you probably have to do it again. Because he's a bastard. Oh, hey. Stand together. Oh. 
I think I Rat? Oh no! He fucking what? How many do I acquire? Fucking six. Ah, uh, I give up. <laughs> Fire. Fireman sucks. Uh, that's like three encounters I could use. <laughs> Did you meet with you know what I'm yeah. hoping for? To man. We got trouble. <laughs> Not really a good one. Wow, they already. I think we do this. Screw them. Kill them all, they love. Okay, maybe this is too much. Get the hell. I'm just attracting everyone. I just want to increase the weapon. <laughs> I really do. You were saying, let's go. Maybe just go back over here where everyone's not gonna attack you. Fuck your pet. Hmm? Did you meet you to man? <laughs>
Gotcha. Kill all of them. How's that bird still alive? Yeah, apology, I can't die. My pleasure, Ami. Trade me. Problem kept. Sweet. Everyone's dead. Now we can move on. Mm -hmm. All right, four more encounters. Are you home. ready? Right this way. My home was destroyed. 
wonder how it will end. It's probably not good. I would have liked to see Ferrante hanging myself. I can imagine it well enough, though. For your loyalty, I'd like you to have Scorideo's edge. It's been a good sword to me. I know you'll put it to good use. Hopefully by killing more of my enemies. I'll be taking command of the Principi now. I'm calling a meeting of the council at Dunnage. It's always a saber. Wait, what is this? 10% chance of re to recover instantly on scoring a hit. What? What? Let's see. Oh, recovery. Double strike. They can strike twice. Let's see. Zero accuracy with ranged weapons for. Sail yeah. with me to Dunnage, Lovesome. I'd like to have you at my side when I bloody the place. Right. Arriving with the full protection of my fleet is the best call. We're off then. My reward was another saver. <laughs> Why is it a saver? I know it's a pirate one. Cloak of Death summons a swirling a cloak of black energy around the wizard. Banish the wizard's attack, melee attackers, imprisoning them in darkness for a short time where they cannot take actions and will receive rapid raw damage of. Oh. What's this? Yeah, I will hit the meteor. <laughs> the target's own skin eats away at them. Dealing. Oh, dealing healing. Preventing healing. That sounds nice. Petrification. Yeah. Arcane cleanse strips off all beneficial. <laughs> Conjures two large and powerful enchanted weapons in the caster's hands and brilliant arcane book to protect. Huh. No, I'm not a conjurer. So, I, I want meteor shower. This one. Uh, the target has their own flesh transmitted into stone. If the target is near death, a spell is cast on them. There is a permanent chance that the purification will be permanent. I. What? So they'll be paralyzed? The target is near death. It doesn't matter when it killed them. Missile salvo. Meteor shower. Missile salvo. It's the best course. <laughs> Give me the mm -hmm. order. Where the hell are we? Oh, right. Yeah. Seeing your face is a delight, but I've got no work for you. Screw you in your work. I dance with this. Speak with the principal leader. But now it's Aldi. Or Aldis, whatever. 
fuck her name is. Oh, they somewhat ran out. I'm bad with names. Two eye pin. I'm not surprised it has come to this, Casita. Yes, you are, Casita. I always thought you would chart a course of bloodshed, but I could not imagine the extent to which you would go. How I fear you have sunk and burned us all. While I respect your opinion, I must humbly disagree. It's not that I dispute Aldi's loyalty, rest assured of that. But I will not entertain such ill thoughts of Ferrante. We head for the eye of the storm soon. Have you braced yourself, Casita? Hello, sucker. Welcome to Balefire Beacon, Captain. Have you a moment? I'd like to fill you in on our next course of action. Of course. Everything we thought was important has changed. If a god is going to kill us all, if he's headed to Ukaizo, I say we beat him there. Either it'll save us, or we'll have a hell of a view to Aeora's end. What say you? It will take some time to refill the Consuelo's vacant seats. For now, those of us remaining are united behind Aldi's. Our fleets will join in the journey to Akaizo, with the fabled floating hangman at the helm. I knew I liked you for a reason, Lovesome. You're a kith after my own heart, you are. Yeah. Ferrante had planned to use the Galleon. It has the ability yeah. to manipulate the winds and seas. It could part Okaizo's storms, mm. allowing us to sail through. Never. I guessed his aims well enough through his interest in the Galleon's history. But it was thanks to your findings in Isaiah's tomb that I knew what to look for. It's Lucia's lost sword that's key. She took an undying oath to protect the Engoliero d'Or spears for the Odarkotzi line. If you speak the oath before the sword, the seal on its scabbard will release, drawing Lucia and the Galleon to you. Yogure de prodigere, mat paladina me d'Arcotzi, e ure e osterecle, me oreria d'Arcotzi's eri. Gure cui luretto bon aimo i bafeta, e pore pere cue maudicenas fiace mi convorande. Of course, it's gotta be Magra. Take the sword out to the high seas. Unsheath the sword by chanting the Darkotzi oath. When Lucia comes for it, kill her and take the Fonferus. Fonferus. In the meantime, I'll set the entire Principe into movement. Expect a formidable fleet at the ready on your return. We'll conquer Ukaizo and sack its riches. You'll see. I'll take care of it. I'll be counting on you. Andra's luck to you, Lovesome. Yeah, 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 I'm a pirate. You're a boo. Party. Grant steadfast. Steadfast. Resolve. No one uses the result. Hardy. It's... What's up? Just say the word. Do I have to do? Uh, let's see, I should take the weapon to the sea and speak those words and those words. What sword? Oh. How do I do that? 
I'd speak to the sword. What can I do? Questions, Captain? I join crew. Who worthless now, Archimere? You have my undivided attention. Ahoy, Captain. What? <sighs> yeah? Tell me what's on your mind? Sure thing, watch. Hey, brother. My lady? What do you... Tough man reads. That's it. I don't know how to do it. How do I do it? Oh, speak the elf. All right. Well, I said, "Bob, so I will say, 'Bob, Bob.'" Wield a sword. La da da da. Hello. I just have to kill her, right? So, where is she? Oh, this is bad. Hi. Dermeo and Guglielmo do a spears. Give me the devourer of souls. Truly, I hope you pride it from the Berethian's fleshless dead hands. However, that does not negate that the sword belongs to me. I do not negotiate for the sword. You pirate captain can drown a thousand deaths for all I care. Oh. It's gonna be like that, huh? Well, if it's gonna be like that, then it's gonna be like that. How about this? I kill you. <laughs> oh, that's everyone there. Oh, sorry, Ed, dear. Fabier can suck my ass. Kill him. Oh, kill his mage too. Can't move. Damn it. I suppose it can't be. Yeah. I got the ghost ship. I almost killed a deer for it. <laughs> I 
a diplomatic Mac with it, but I don't have 18 diplomatic. No. No. <laughs> Not even close. I could bluff, but there was no bluff. Okay, return to dodge. Wait, I have to ship. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> I do have the ship. Ship is mine. Oh, I can't. Uh, it can't be removed. Principi colors. It only has four cannons. Oh, it can't be removed. Damn it! Why? I can't put them. I hate. I hate it already. It's just the same. <laughs> Certainly. Yeah. True. Captain Aldis. I'll happily lend you my ear. And my sword, and other things. I knew you were the only captain who could take it. You are more than worthy of your chair on the council. The Principi are ready to sail for Ukaizo. Me and my fleet will reconvene with you outside Andra's mortar. Until then, Lovesome. Yeah. Oh crap, that's a lot of experience. Oh, I can have one more pistol. Max level. Crap. No. That's so the Saber, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Max level. Oh. I'm here. The principi to mother. I screwed these bounties. So you lost in time. Screw these. Sail with the principi. I'd be glad to. Yay, principi. I'll happily lend you my ear and my sword. We survive at any cost. We expand, conquer the seas. We live free, and we die as we choose. What better life could there be? 
If we've only got one life to live, no future for Aeora, no more chances for our souls, then we may as well relish what time we've got. Yeah. I can't upgrade my ship. Is that what it is? I can't upgrade my ship. Bullshit is this. Can I at least upgrade my quarters? Really? ship sucks I uh I It's not slow. <laughs> the ship sucks. Let's see, what's over here? I still I need four counters to upgrade this uh, populace. I didn't kill everyone. I go, yeah, I don't like go through a storm. It's a loss of resources. Yeah. Wait, what the hell? An encounter. this place Hall of the Unseen uh, the hell <laughs> Shadow Veil What <laughs> Why is Dracula in this game <laughs> I don't know. Uh, sneak up. No one has good sneak. Oh, uh, finally, some good sneak. <laughs> yeah, I should have chose two.
the hell? That was weird. That was only a dream. Kaket's eye. All of the unseen. What is this? Bring a spool of fishing line. Tell me, of course. Saying, give me the order. Yeah, sure thing. How may I help? May I help? Of course. What can I do you for? At once. This way. Sure thing. Ah. My pleasure, Ami. Tell me. This is a puzzle. Yes? Yes? Indeed. Do you? All right. Your orders. 
My pleasure, Ami. Aye. All right. I'm listening. Can do. Tell me. To puzzle. Indeed. Give me a puppy. Solve. Suck. What the hell is this? I believe this place is leading us in circles. Oh, yeah. Worse. Leading us in circles, it is. Happily. I hate this place. Ha 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 I have a full party. What's on your mind? How do I get out of here? That's the question. The Eye of Oila. 25% chance to become invisible for 8 seconds on scoring a crit. 0% chance to random illusion spell on scoring a hit. Illusion spell. Oh shit! Can we stick it? So, uh, hey, what does this do? I stealth. I can't enchant it. Oh wait! How could I forget?
Yes, I get it. I need three more encounters. What? Around like 18 is the... Elof? Yeah. Elof. No! Yeah. <laughs> no. Delay fireball. Allows for you to temporarily borrow. Short duration. What is this? Crossbow? Oh, yeah. Yes! And then this. Take care from a shield. Never use a shield. No, he doesn't. <laughs> uh, I, I already got all of his magical stuff, so. I might as well get a pistol. <laughs> it's useless. So, what does this do? Form for semantic. What does that mean? Cast a random defensive illusion spell when the caster becomes bloody. Got zero chance. Yeah. Lithus Gillies. If successful, paralyzed. What does that mean? <laughs> Cast a gay spell in the area. Oh. Yeah. Shrouded strike. On a crit. What the hell is that? Zero chance. All illusion spells. I don't. What are our illusions? Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. That sucks. I'm listening. You were saying. All for that. Yes. Oh, at least I increase a love. Everyone should be. Oh no, you're level 19. Everyone else is 20. Aloft. No, my uh, and Pachima are level 19. Bitches. No, no, they're multi class. <sighs> Wait, where's the exit? Oh, they're right here. The order. Shush! <laughs> I only name. I don't know, unseen nothingness. Unseen nothingness. There wasn't really nothing here. <laughs> yes. Lay oh god. Layers of nothing island. <laughs> yes. Layers of nothing island. Go back to the ship. The what? Yeah, it is. There's only a shipwreck here. Oh, there's a storm here. What the hell? Not stupid. Oh, 
A ship always has like a constant fog around it. Splintered Reef. I can't land there yet. What the hell is this? creature pass. Yes. What the hell? Another game? Thousand copper. I cheated. Fast mod is annoying. Ooh, a jungle.
slave. Hey, temple. Screw that. Careful. Who the hell are you? Not very helpful. Absolutely. And nothing here? Hmm, certainly. So what did you find? You sucks. Of course. What can I do? I'd be glad to. What have we here? Indeed. Oh, it's a mace. Grab the mace. Clear mine. Take the mace.
Hell. Yes. I can't take the mace. It needs until I can resolve. I can't take it. Damn it. This is the only thing I can't detect. What can I do? Or I can't then? take. Uh-huh. What can I do? Indeed. Uh, grab the mace. Let go. I can't grab it. It's too powerful. Oh? I can't even let the allies take it. It has to be. It's a watcher only. Yeah, this Tell thing me. sucks! Easy. I wanted to see what it is! So, intellect and resolve, huh? How dare you! One or the other. I don't care, but. God damn it! What can I do? I hear you. This is the only thing I can't take. Only like ten, I think. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid in island. Into island. <laughs> so what was my Yeah. Yeah, my intellect is ten, my resolve is twelve. Damn it. Nothing good comes with. They probably finally gave something to the. Come here! I am the ghost ship. Forty meters, that's it. Ship is slow. Did I finish it? Yeah, I finished it. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. Just the last episode, yeah. The big battle. That was pretty good. I know, but still. It 
hell is this guy? Who is this guy on my ship? I got a cook. Yes. Yes. I got that ogre on my ship. Yes. She's my uh, navigator. Or my wheeler. I don't know. Cloak at the Daryl Crack. That's nothing special. That they are. Come here! Come here! Oh, he wants to fight me. I'm gonna charge forward. Okay, they did some damage. All of them did damage. But screw your cannons. Prepare. The ship is slow. So slow. I hate this ship. Why is there a constant fog? Does the fog help me? No, it doesn't. That ship. Come here, you goddamn ship. You're mine. Got the counter. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, son of a. Let's see, Let's see, start over the other one. Completely forgot. Just don't miss. Two more. 
get it. Yes! Get this boat. Get this stupid boat. Or it's the only unique weapon that I got. Was that a gun? I didn't find anything else. Yeah. Probably. Full speed! My sails will be two. Fight on! Fight on you, Scallywax! Say nearby enemies will be distracted after killing an enemy with the weapon for 20 seconds. Five perception is considered a flank. Hey. Yeah, it's pretty weak. Yeah. <laughs> Pyrite! It's still superb. Hell. Uh. Hell. Die. How is this?
Should you sail on? Yes. Engage the enemy. Oh, come on. Time for you.
ship is so slow. <laughs> oh, hello. It's a lot of people. Hey, dragon.
Kaito. We're here. That said they lost in time. Hello. What are you? What the hell are you? <laughs> That's a dinosaur. What manner of creature is this? Madiko. Is that some kind of animat? Madiko. Stay close, Ishii. That's one heavy bird. I'm not too proud to admit when I'm scared. Terrified, actually. So alone. Never alone. Exit Kaizo reached. Yes. Here. We have been here. We are the gates of Akaizo. We guard the silence of Akaizo. You are a disturbance. I'm not a disturbance. Aethas has disturbed the bones of a Kaizo. The old pacts permit him to pass. But you will go no further. A Kaizo is closed. The gates are barred. Our covenant with the old ones does not forbid questions. The living were meant to forget Ukaizo. Nothing can be gained of remembering it. A challenge would be a welcome distraction. Take your reprieve, doomed one. The chosen people of the dead fire called the Kaizo home. The outsiders were their contemporaries, full of wisdom, ingenuity, and terrifying ambition. The Ingwithins, of course. Only they would create a monster and bind it to guarding their secrets. Ha! They did not create us. They united us as one. The old ones and the outsiders traded, collaborated, learned, and built together. Outsiders augured the doom of the old ones. The rift unmade them both. A rift. The outsiders coveted ancient Ukaizo. Its occupation was a hindrance. Machines were built on a foundation of outsider lies. When the machines were nearly done, the outsiders constructed bodies of flesh and bone. Finally, the outsiders fashioned a guardian to stand vigil over their work. Our bond with the old ones compelled us to trust their allies. They offered us a trade, eternal life for eternal service. We were ordered to slam shut the gates of Okaizo for all time. The outsiders vanished from the world, leaving the old ones dumbfounded. Quiet gave way to chaos. Storms battered the seas. The sleeping hearts of mountains awoke with fury. 
When the last screens of the old ones faded, only we remained. None but the green colossus whose every footstep disturbs tranquility. You are the first kith to visit the shores of Las Kaizo, and you will be the last. What? By now, you are rested, and there is little more to tell. May your journey through the wheel be an informed one. You chose death when you set your bearing, Traveler. Prepare yourself. Oh, it's gonna be like that, huh? Fine. Of course you have allies. Of course you have fucking allies. Oh, he's down. Ha! Oh, wait. Shit. <laughs> Atiko! <laughs> hit my allies so I chose that. Wait, he revived? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, never mind, you hit pretty hard. 
What the hell? Why are you still alive? Tell them! That sucked. Of course. Hello, you stupid thing. I think I'm good. Oh, let's rest up. I am at the end, might as well finish it. Oh god, never mind. This is gonna take a while. Wait, what? Yes. What is this? I'm all ears. Tell me what's on your mind. Not a w I never. No matter. And the crush of. Sure thing. 
apology, Watcher, ma. You only have to ask. Um. Is there something you want? You only have to ask. The, the Duke's bells was spit still up. Even better after the trip, the Duke's spirit still up. Yes, you only have to ask. Good. I have no where I am as if the Dukes need me. You look like you have something on your mind. As a matter of I saw my father, I think my father was, I think it was. As a matter I saw my father was, but I, here my they have nothing to say. It was. What is this about? Better get to it, Captain. The green boy isn't going to wait around for us. Better get to it, Captain. The green boy isn't going to wait around for us. Is there something you only have? I'm confused. What can I do? Certainly. To think, this storm has been here since the Inguithins left Aora. Little wonder that Yukaizo has been lost for all this time. Yes, you only have. Okay, you have something to say. Better get to it, Captain. She has nothing, and I'm in a relationship with him. Or her. What the hell am I saying? Okay, so here we are. Five years ago, you controlled the destiny of thousands of souls in sun and shadow. But the choice you make today shall define the fate of every living thing in Aora. I suppose that's true. And I suppose it can be comforting to remember that. I know you'll choose wisely. And no matter what happens, it's been an honor journeying with you. Again. <laughs> Thank you. Once again, it seems you have led me into a divine mess. At least this time, we will see the gods get what they deserve. And thanks to you, the company will benefit in the end. I am honored to have served with you, Watcher. You are and will always be my Camarata. Camarata. Let us go. Aethys awaits us. Sodi? We gonna do this or what? We've made it this far, yet we're still alive. Might as well square off with my god before our luck runs dry. Sure do. If Gon wants you dead, I figure he can do it himself. Besides, the part of him that's been stomping through the dead fire didn't much help me at Mogren's teeth. <laughs> Tell me, Watcher, can there be a god of light and birth if souls themselves can no longer be reborn? Reckon it was. Sure, I did some things I now regret. Gone knows I got plenty of blood on my hands. I thought it'd be different how it turned out, but I couldn't dream of any other way. Now then, shall we go face my god for one last time? Find out what it is we can or can't do in these end times. Whether we're meant to wither or thrive. Consider me your second shadow. Mia. So, here we stand on Lost Ukaizo. You spy them more? My parents gave me an earful about the horizon spanning beaches and towers reaching beyond the stars. All I can see is good folk tussling over a wasteland. Time to confront Aethys, hopefully for the last time. 
You know what you're doing? I want my soul back. That's it. No time to waste then. I'm about as ready to confront a god as I'll ever be. I guess we should see what all the fuss is about. And if Ukaizo is worth the superstition. Captain, I... I don't know what's gonna happen to us, but... I want you to know... That I'm not scared, and... I'm glad you're here with me. We can't get through this. I know we can, Captain. We're good like that. Go give the green boy a piece of your mind. Not even a kiss. Ah, what kind of relationship is this? Yeah, I feel like I should have gone with Zodi. She was my first kiss, but now I have to be with Mia. God damn it. Here we go. I don't know what's here, but... This is not the last place though. What the hell is this? Teko? Is Teko here? Deactivate it! Controlling the storm winds down. The clattering of its machinery settles into a low end. whir, and then, what? at last, yeah. hiccups to a halt. Beyond the tower, the black, roiling clouds of Andra's mortar roll away from the ancient city of Ukaizo, with only a tired sigh of wind to see them off. And on that last breath of wind, comes to you a familiar sound. The ring of a bell. Not again. The bell's ringing is soft. Not the clangor and torrent you've grown used to. It calls to your soul, and your soul yearns to follow it. Your soul flees from your body and into the beyond, chasing that sound. It leads you at last to Bareth's realm. To that cold platform and room of endless doors. Watcher, your journey nears its conclusion. The pallid knight stands before you, her gaunt face impassive. <laughs> I'm actually scared. I would think you're a fool, were you not? Change unsettles, and not even the gods are immune to fear. Soon you will confront Aethys for what will likely be the final time, and you will do so as the Herald of Barath, the only creature on the face of Aora to whom he will listen. Remember that. Never. The pallid knight inclines her head to you, black hair hanging lank in her face. She steps back and cedes the floor to Helia, with a small, resigned sigh. If Aethys truly intends to go through with his mad plan to destroy the wheel, a generation's worth of souls will be trapped in the in-between. So many would suffer. How can Aethys be so cruel? He cannot just abandon them. Aethys must help the kith find a quick solution. Helia says. Abaddon strides forward. Aethys, thrust this crisis on the kith. 
They did not bring it upon themselves. Their only mistake was entrusting us to watch over them. Who will help them rebuild their world now? Aethys will reveal every secret of the gods. We'll can't be able to change the established order if they have no wonder to inspire them. Aethys must help them resolve this quickly, lest every one of Aeora's few remaining mysteries be laid plain. Come on. You have come to your senses at last. With the wheel destroyed, Kith will tear themselves apart. It is the gods' duty to prevent that happening, lest they doom us all. And as Kith must be ruled, so too must the gods. I say that if Aethys is so eager to throw down the mantle of power and step aside, I shall take my rightful place as Queen of the Gods again. No. Kith are strongest when they follow our lead, and we are strongest when we lead in turn. United in purpose with the gods, Kith can accomplish things that without us, they could never have even begun. They must be shown their boundaries to surpass them. Kith will not solve Aethys' puzzle on their own. And without an established order to fight against, the bonds that bind them dissolve, and they fight amongst themselves. Scan says, and casts a long look toward Wodaka. How dare you? No. That confidence is what will save Kith, Watcher. Do not lose it when you stand before Aethys. Wodaka's firm hand is but the motherly smothering of Helia by another name. Mortals should have no special advantages. Only once Kith have striven to improve themselves through trial will they truly know their measure. Kith must suffer to find their strength if they are to survive the world into which Aethas drags them. Galloway says. Our intervention in your struggle would be a cruelty and counter to our purpose. Galloway says. He lets his words hang in the air for a moment. Gaze, level with your own. Indeed. Kith must discover for themselves what it is they are worth, and of what it is they are capable. What we do for them, they do not learn for themselves. Trial breeds ingenuity. If our work of generations was not in vain, Kith will succeed in spite of Aethys' actions. Magrin says... I have faith in Kith's ability to meet Aethys' challenge. Do not mistake my words for indifference, Watcher. They are born from a fierce belief in your potential, not a refutation of it. See clearly at last. Remergond says. Margren is blinded by her affection for mortals. She does not see that entropy is the destiny of all things. If Aethas were wise, he would destroy everything. End life. End reincarnation. End death. Kith have had their chance. It is time to let silence reign. As Rimmergon's words fade, the Pallid Knight returns. She no longer towers over you, a giant even among the gods, but meets you at your height. She lets the arms crossed over her chest fall to her sides. She speaks to you openly, plainly, an expression almost like tenderness, turning up the corners of her lips. Well, Watcher, you know where we stand. What do you believe?
You have some time to think yet, but not perhaps as much as you would like. Now the time has come for us to part, Watcher. I laid upon you a difficult duty, and I know you desire to be free of it. You will be in time, but not now. You have work to do yet. You are no stranger to hard choices. You killed Theos, and when his soul was laid bare before you, you chose to destroy his memories. You freed him from his past. Yeah, I did. Remember the strength it took to make that choice. And know that you alone may sway Aethys now. When you stand before him, choose your words carefully. She claps her gauntleted hands together, and a sound like thunder rumbles through the room. As the floor crumbles and falls away beneath you, you hear the sound of a single bell ringing, and beneath it, the faintest whisper. It seems we're all still here. It is good to see you awake. It seems the storm has passed. If all your missions involve this many head wounds, then I volunteer to set the next one out. God's darnation! My head! I'm here. At once. All right. That's done. Where do I go? Oh, finally. Here. What you people from lush, bright lands fail to grasp is that Rawatai isn't a storm-tossed spit of land. It's the Kif who stand together there. Okaizo belongs to us. We've earned it with blood and sweat. And no one shall take it from us now. I can't stop him. Neither can you. But I can give my country a chance at weathering what comes next. Roatians! Oh. Alright. What happens if I choose the second one? What's my... Oh wait, what is my repetition? What you... Okay, and no one shall take it from us now. Uh, Not while I'm around. Row a tie in! Alright, screw you, piece of shit. Ain't you got the decency to do it? Why is it so silent? That is true. How could I miss that? It's all right. It happened. Mo and Ixie. Oh, stand together. You didn't mean it. Mo and Ixie. Oh, curses. 
Lava will be on seek. Ha ha! Perfecto! Sempre! Dacila! This song has been standing for a long time. Oh? How may I help? Indeed. Up sucks to be you, woman. You died for no good reason. You descend into the ancient winding streets of Ukaizo. Battered by storms for thousands of years, the ruins bear the marks of their role as the lone witnesses of the god's great secret at the center of the city. The houses and boulevards are pierced by great spears of luminous Audra. There are no ashen bodies, no birds, no sign or sound of any life. But with every step, the rhythmic pounding in the distance draws nearer. Soon, you can feel the vibration traveling up your spine. As you approach the center of the city, the weathered architecture gives way to more luminous Audra piercing the ruins, eventually overtaking them entirely. Cresting the top of a fallen tower, you finally get a clear view of Aethys. He stands, legs astride, next to a great stone monument ringed with eleven cavernous alcoves. All but three hold a gargantuan skeleton, bones scrubbed clean, by the city's storms. An immense anguithin machine floats above the monument, suspended by invisible energy emanating from a well of light beneath it. Great brass rings spin around a core of metal and Audra at the machine's center. Periodically, Aethys's massive arms swing back. The movement alone is enough to draw great gusts of wind toward him. When they come down on the machine, the impacts are accompanied by eruptions of electricity, fire, and smoke. The hundreds of luminous Audra pillars across Ukaizo sympathetically dim in a rippling wave that spreads out from the machine. The only safe route to the god is a steep ascent along a monstrous pillar of luminous Audra. Intertwined with fragments of Ukaizo's ruins that it has carried through the centuries, the pillar bends in a long arc, towering above the machine. The pillar levels out near Aethys's head, a silent observer to the destruction of the machine it has grown beside over thousands of years. You weave your way along a treacherous rain-slicked path up the pillar's skyward side. As you arrive at the top, you catch Aethys's attention. Fist pulled back, he pauses to observe you. With the same gentleness he showed at Ashen Ma, he lowers his arm and turns toward you. Oh dear. How can this go? Strange to see Okaizo in this way. It may be hard to picture, but this city was once full of life. The Hawana, yes but also kith from many other cultures. Great hanging trees shadowed these boulevards. Gardens sprawled across the open rooftops. Each spring, a festival procession would wind its way from the hillside into this valley. The celebrants would pass through a steep walk among the stalls of foreign merchants, flowers falling upon them from all sides. All people of all nations, together in a celebration of new life. Such was the power and beauty of Lost Ukaizo. 
Gone, please. I'm begging you. What do I do following this? How... How am I to best serve those still living? To improve our future chances of survival? The Dead Fire and the Eastern Reach are full of animancers. Women and men with brilliant minds who can solve this great problem. They will also need people with brilliant souls, like you, Shodi. People who can tend to the spiritual needs of the world in a time of fear and desperation. Remember, the flame you bear is not only light, but warmth. Provide comfort to all who need it. What right do you have to do this? Destroy the wheel and leave us with nothing? Without even knowing what will come next? Aloth, we are all gods and mortals, responsible for our own actions. But inaction carries its own moral responsibility. It is a burden I have carried for far too long. One must always do as their conscience dictates, even if that means abdicating a position of power. Rawatai gave everything they had to reach this place. In the end, they fell short of hitting the mark. Will we ever have another chance to prosper? Or was this damn island our last hope? Only you can answer that question, Maya. Rawatai has persevered through great adversity. The storms that ravaged your homeland have ended. But that in itself may present new challenges for your people. It is my hope that after I am gone, Rawatai will work together with its rivals to create a new world, instead of fighting over the ruins of the old. I want you to know. I appreciate what you are doing. Ah, but Palagina, you do so only because in this, you foresee the death of my kin. We have wronged you. We have wronged all mortals for far too long. But after this moment, you may see a change in my brothers and sisters. Humility can be good for the soul, even a god's. But what of you, Watcher? Why have you followed me? Have you come to bear witness to the breaking of the wheel? Oh god. Yeah? How can I hit him in the face? Oh my little sword, yeah, I'll just tear a little uh, shaving scar. And I gotta take a piss before I make this decision. <laughs> oh jeez. This is kinda, I don't know, I probably gotta kill us all.
Uh, crap, what should I choose? The what? Yeah. <laughs> I love reload. And you believe I should give my strength to one of them? I am certain Woodica has convinced you of this course. Why do you believe I should give this power, which we have used so irresponsibly for so long, to any of them? It is true. We created ourselves as equals, even if Woodica did create a story about her past to elevate her own glory. Yeah. You have convinced me, Watcher. The gods do need a strong leader. I will ensure they have one after I am gone. I must attend to my final work now. I cannot delay any longer. You have carried a heavy burden across the Deadfire, Watcher. Before I go, I would rid you of it. What? You are free now. As free as any of us can be. Many will come to you for help in the years ahead. Animancers, priests, even the gods themselves. I have great hope for you, but always remember that your future is for you to decide. Use your freedom well. That was it! He squares himself to the machine. As you move to a safe distance, he draws his fist back and resumes his assault. The blows rain down with increased fervor. But the machine perseveres in spite of his efforts. Spreading his arms wide, Aethys draws power from the luminous Audra clustered around the valley. The energy courses through his body, limbs overflowing with intense light and waves of heat. He returns to his task, each strike bringing with it the sound of cracking stone and twisting metal. The flickering of luminous Audra across Ukaizo. As the ancient machine finally begins to succumb to his strength, so too does Aethys's body, built to withstand the passage of thousands of years. The great Audra statue has finally been pushed beyond its limits. Cracks appear along the hands, then race up the arms. Aethys does not slow his assault, but continues unabated. Its brass rings twisted. The machine spins erratically, but withstands the relentless barrage. Aethys stands astride it and pummels the base of the machine. Soul energy begins to flare out from the machine's heart, warping the air with the intense heat. Aethys drives his right fist into the machine's center. The core of metal and Audra. The god lets out a deafening shout, something between a cry of anguish and a roar of exultation. You see Aethys's arm shatter upward from his hand through his elbow. A flash of light and heat bursts from the core, accompanied by a cacophony of destruction. The moment passes as Aethys's shout echoes throughout the valley. Your eyes begin to recover. The god's work is accomplished. The great machine of Ukaizo has been destroyed. The wheel has been unmade. Well, he destroyed the wheel. No 
I wonder how this goes. As Aethys's voice fades, the enormity of what you've accomplished sinks in. You have confronted a god. You have rediscovered the ancient city where the wheel was forged, and you have seen the wheel shattered. What comes next is uncertain, but already the legend spreads of the Watcher, who survived Andra's mortar and stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Aethys. Aethys channels his essence into Bereth, empowering the god of doors, cycles, and life and death beyond all other gods. Bereth vows to maintain peace and order in the here and the beyond, while Kith labor toward a solution. The other gods, for the time being, submit. <laughs> Under Bereth's guidance, the world becomes a more predictable, stable place. Seasons fall into a disturbingly regular rhythm, and wars, famines, and natural disasters dwindle. But so too do surges of prosperity and innovation. Great minds around the world work methodically towards salvation, both unhindered and uninspired by changes, upheavals, and the unexpected. After the battle, Aldi sends her fleet for Mukaizo. Her first and last act as Lady of the Ancient City is to reactivate the storms from Andra's spire. Her work done, she departs in the floating hangman. She determines that none shall control the power of Ukaizo. Under her, the Principe shall remain a lawless, rootless pirate band, and Deadfire shall remain free for any with the will to make their way in it. Okay. As the rise in piracy makes operations in Deadfire ever more costly, the Consuelo Mea Compressa votes to scale back the Valian Trading Company's presence. Luminous Audra and Animancy Research remain valuable enterprises, but the company can no longer afford to seek dominance in the region. Ha! Ah. The Royal Deadfire Company makes a final attempt to seize Ukaizo using an innovation of its own. A ship that submerges itself beneath the waves and storms. It is not, however, immune to the magically charged barrels that Aldi's ships drop into the water. Ha! Ah. After an embarrassing defeat, the Royal Deadfire Company consolidates its forces in the archipelago and limits its ambitions to a handful of well-guarded plantations. The storms of Rawatai rage on, and its people muddle through with the same tenacity that has served them for millennia. Demoralized by the loss of Ukaizo, the Juana tribes fragment further. All of Queen Onikaza's work to unify her people falls apart and foreign traders openly flout the decrees of the Kahanga crown. Well, that sucks. The mysterious deaths of Governor Clario and Storm Speaker Ikawa provoke hostilities between the Valian settlers and the Huawan residents. What starts with angry words escalates to retaliatory killings as each side blames the other. Ah. By the time anyone bothers to question the strange coincidences surrounding their deaths, including reports of a cloaked Omawi woman seen in both the port and the village. Both sides have gone too far to turn back. Yeah. As the conflict tears both the village and the town apart, many people, Juana and Valian alike, drift away in search of other opportunities. Many find themselves among the newly empowered Principi, after the violence they've already seen, piracy doesn't seem so bad. As the balance of power changes in Deadfire, so too does Nekataka transform. Pirates, smugglers, and other criminals flow into the city, openly flouting its laws. Oh, that sucks. The pirates continue smuggling food into the gullet, and the Raparu embrace their benefactors, aiding and concealing their smuggling operations. Over time, the gullet becomes a hotbed of piracy. Yes! The loss of Skiarilifus's essence weakens the Water Shapers Guild. Their power wanes, and their influence fades. The art of water shaping survives as an arcane curiosity. 
Your brief encounter with Letharn proves deeply influential for the children of the Dawnstars. Plagued with nightmares and haunted by the deaths at Hesongo, Letharn begins questioning his faith in Aethys. At first, his fellow Dawnstars chide him. But that changes as word of Aethys' deeds at Ukaizo spreads. After all, what business have they worshipping a god who denied his own legitimacy? Ooh. The faith of the children of the Dawnstars fades, but their commitment to the people of Deadfire does not. They continue feeding, healing, and helping the neediest, just as they have for decades. It is no longer a holy mission, but it is a mission all the same. That's good. Ruanu, the chieftain of the Huana at Tikawara, dies mysteriously. Oh. The tribe finds his body washed up on the same beach where Anaharu challenged him to the trial of waves. Some blame Anaharu's vengeful spirit. Others see it as Ngati's final judgment. And a few speak of a strange man seen lingering in the village. Hmm. Don't know. The leaderless tribe eventually scatters. Some head to Negataka, while others seek out the Wahaki. Don't care. Ships continue to disappear at the southeastern fringe of the archipelago, and stories circulate of a colony of vampires and gulls preying on their crews. I don't know what this is. Though your adventures alter the destiny of Aora and the balance of power in Deadfire, they also leave a lasting mark on those who travel at your side. Your companions find themselves changed in ways both big and small. Oh. Adair returns to Hisongo, where he reunites with Bern, the son of his former lover, Alava. The boy takes heart in Adair's account that Aethys and all the other gods were false, petty, and unworthy of the love of Kith. Yeah! Realizing how close he came to dying for this cause, Bern finds renewed purpose in working alongside his uncle to repair the many scars left upon Deadfire by the gods. Under Adair's guidance, Burn grows into the kind of irreverent, stubborn hothead that would have made his mother proud. And Adair visits her gravesite, often to tell her so. Oh. Shodi is not a priestess who understands the meaning of subtlety. As such, she makes her girlish crush on Adair painfully obvious from the moment she first sets eyes on the strapping fighter. Ooh. Early in your travels, Adair appears discomforted by her persistent flirting. Oh. He often grimaces when she sidles up to him, and he takes endless pains to keep their conversations terse and to the point. But after a little smoothing on your part to nudge them in the right direction, Adair makes an effort to view Shodi with an open mind. And Shodi begins teasing the veteran fighter in a more companionable and less amorous manner. After saving each other's hides a couple times, and sharing more than a few laughs, the two form an easy, and you suspect, lifelong friendship. Oh, just a friendship? Come on! Fucking fucker! Seemingly lit with an inner glow, Shodi takes to a new life of mission work with Gusto. She still is committed to shepherding souls for Gone, but having realigned her goals with that of her fellow Dawn Stars. She now endeavors to help the living as much as the dead. Oh. As you travel the dead fire, you find her sleeping better and laughing more often. When the time comes for her to return to her temple in Nekataka, it's with a clear wistfulness and much lip biting on her part. She leaves you with her sickle and a hastily scrawled note. Wait, what? It reads, a keepsake from a path once walked. Remember me, Watcher, for I will forever dream of you. Ooh la la. Aloth renews his commitment to destroying the Leaden Key. With the wheel broken, loosening the god's stranglehold on Kith is more urgent than ever. It is a lofty goal, and one he does not expect to finish in his lifetime. But if there's one thing he's learned from the Watcher, it's that a single person can change the world. You let Romaro go, and the former pirate ostensibly set sail for the trade lanes of the Eastern Reach, the Edir Empire, Old Valia, and the Republics. 
For the remainder of your time together, Seraphin seems, if not exactly happy, at least contented with the outcome of your confrontation with his former mentor at Sayuga. After your encounter with Aethys, the pirate drifts into quiet contemplation. As you sail into your next port, he meets you at the ship's rail. He'll be leaving the gods to you going forward, he tells you, and saving his bullets for those like to die from them. Seraphin parts company with you not long after. Occasionally, in the years that pass, you hear tales of his ship, the Taste of Freedom, and its violent exploits against any and all who would purchase or purvey kith. Ha! Huh. The Valian Trading Company is furious with Palagina for her support of the Watcher during the Principi conquest of Ukaizo. Their fury intensifies when Aldi's pirates triple their attacks on all merchant ships in the Deadfire. Instead of removing Palagina from the Brotherhood, the Dukes assign her to guard the most vulnerable ships in the company fleet. Five months into her assignment, Pelagina goes down with the Vengiata men Aimora. Her body is never found. What? No! No! Not Pelagina! Fuck the trading company! Pleased with the Navy's conduct throughout the Dead Fire campaign, Maya returns to active duty. She can find a free drink and a sharp salute anywhere she goes in Rawatayan territory. In recognition of her performance, the Navy attempts to give Maya less strenuous work. She flatly refuses, throwing herself into the fray whenever she can. Her rifle never has time to cool. Oh. Though Maya's covert assignment in the Dead Fire is considered a success, few claim knowledge of it or openly congratulate her. She receives no praise beyond knowing glances or the occasional raised tankard from her countrymen. She never responds. Oh. Though she has a lot on her mind, she still makes time to visit. Even if it's just to share a few pleasant words and a subtle wink. You don't often travel together. Oh. But it's clear that what you built in your time as shipmates is alive and well. Yeah. She looks forward to seeing her brother again. So does Ashiza. That's nice. Takei who distances himself from the problems of the dead fire, giving the tribes a reprieve from godlike omens. Ngati's silence speaks volumes. The Juana grow to rely on each other, paving a new way forward divorced from their traditions. Soon after his departure from Nekataka, sailors report of mountainous water sculptures rising from the open sea, entrancing and salacious. These works are celebrated everywhere, from the brothel to the palace. Though the identity of the artist remains an open question. Your farewell is short and cordial. Nothing further needs to be said, and you wish each other well. Takehu does not look back. The sea feels restless in his absence. Great changes are at work in Deadfire and the world beyond. But the storms of Andra's mortar rage on. Whatever salvation Kith achieve will be hard won. But it will be the deliverance of their own choosing. As the Watcher of Kadnua and the former Herald of Bereth, you return to your ship and begin the long journey home. You hope for calm weather. Is that it? Hey, it's the credits! Well, there's no nothing from Barif. Even though he granted his power to the other gods and Barif is leading, again no like no final say from the gods themselves. I'm sure one of them lived. I know Bereth lived. It said himself that he granted his power to the other gods. But... 
At least I didn't get to know what my what became my companions. Sucks for our pal Najima. She was she was a good one. She was a good companion. At least for me. She was pretty cool. Well, that's it. That's the end of the game. I I did a lot of streaming with this game. And a lot of dialogue, but a lot that I like. A lot of story, a lot of exploration. And do I say if it's better than the first one? Story wise? Not so much because it's singular, you're focusing on hunting Aotis. But it's a lot more open world and your choices do affect. Not as much as the first one, I believe. But there's a lot of exploration and I like that. I mean, you could be a pirate, you could be with one of the companies, you could be with a Hawana, but you know, why can't we just all band together to stop a god from destroying the wheel, which everyone relies upon relies upon like a reincarnation, an actual living reincarnation. Which is you know, understandable they want the lost city, they want whatever power it has, but a god is destroying it. And they don't seem to understand that. I mean, there's some glitches, there's some... I still don't get the... Like the, like the personality that your character has like, towards decisions. Like that... I'm a little bit of everything. Or some than others, but... I, I'm, a, I'm still a little bit of everything, which is not my intention. But every anything I chose what I chose, I know what I meant. Most of them, and I stand by them. And it doesn't really give you. It's a lot of gray area, and I like that about it. And this is along with God of War. This is like one of the best games I ever played this year. This, this is really well done. I, could have been well, well what the moral choice is it could have been a little bit more solid but it's salt this is a pretty good game it's very well done and I loved it more than I love to say the K well yeah hey that's it that's all the credits so anyway that's it for now I'll probably make a new character make a new uh, playthrough but uh, make a new class really, but this is it. So anyway, I'll stop there for now and you know, see you later. Hope you enjoy the game or uh, the playthrough if you're watching it, but I can't wait for the DLC. It's really well done. So let's hope for like an expansion. I want to see what the psychics would do. You really, I like Yadimi at the start and maybe a little bit of Constantine. But I haven't still I haven't still got Rickles or whatever that sidekick is, but I, I like Yildin. Whatever her name her name is, but anyway, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the game, that's all the story, and I'll probably make another playthrough at my other time, but that's it. Alright, so see you later. <laughs>